Melissa Cruz, President of Sonoma County Wine Growers, and I'm here with Amy Tosconi, our Marketing Director. Welcome to Sonoma County in this episode of Vine Talk. Today, we are going to try to demystify the wine label. Wine labels can often be confusing, but they tell you so much about what's in the bottle and why you might prefer one wine over another, depending on the occasion, depending on your taste, depending on your preference. So Amy is going to be our guide today and learning how exactly to read a wine label. So I think the most obvious place to start is with the wine varietal. Now a lot of people literally make it as simple as, do I want a white wine or a red wine? But there are so many options. So Amy, talk to me about choosing a varietal wine. Yeah, so the wine variety is always available on the label, the varietal. And in here in Sonoma County, we grow 66 different varieties of wine grapes. That's there's true. about 44 reds and 22 whites. So there's a lot of different options. Wine lovers tend to find their favorite kind of grapes and, and stick with those, but it's a great way to explore different wine varietals just by, by going out of your comfort zone and trying to try some other things that are here in Sonoma County. I'm gonna pick up the San Giacomo wine right here. And what's one of the first things I should be looking for, Amy? Well, one of the most important things to look at when you're looking at a wine is what is the vintage? So vintage means year. And that means that the grapes in the bottle were harvested during that vintage year. So in any bottle of wine, if it has a vintage date on it, so if you see a year on the label, that means that at least 95% of the grapes in that bottle were harvested in that year. If there isn't a year on it, or if it says NV, that means non-vintage, which means it's a combination of grapes from different years. So let's talk a little bit up next. We have five different uh, wines in front of us. So where they're from, the winery, like how does that work and where do we look for that on the label? Yeah, so the winery is of course a very important piece of any wine label. So for example, this is a wine from Linmar Estate. This is how consumers or wine lovers know what producers are their favorite. So there's different wine making styles, there's different kind of philosophies and wineries, and all of the branding that goes into that, that wine um, really relates back to what kind of style of wine they're making and what quality wine they're making. So wineries can vary in size from being little mom and pop shops or somebody with barrels and presses in their, in their backyard on, on their vineyard to oh, wow. large wine companies. So it's really worthwhile to get to know wineries a little bit and understand who the people are behind them, what kind of styles they're making, what kind of reputation they have for quality mm -hmm. wines. So let's talk a little bit about region. Obviously, we're extremely biased for Sonoma County wines because we support our local farmers here to grow those grapes, of course. But what does it mean and where do you look for your regional designation? Well, Sonoma County is really special because within Sonoma County, there's 18 different American viticultural areas. So there's a lot of nuance to what kind of grapes and what kind of styles can be grown in different regions of Sonoma County. And you can find that on any label. So you will see here, for example, it says Sonoma Coast. Here on the San Giacomo wine, it says Carneros. That gives you information about kind of what the terroir was like, what the weather's like in that region, mm -hmm. what kind of wines are grown there. In order for a label to list a specific AVA, it has to be 85% yeah. grapes from that AVA so you know a little bit more about that wine. If it says Sonoma County on the label, which you'll see pretty often, that means that 75% of the grapes in that bottle were grown here in Sonoma County. So it's really fun. Often we try to challenge ourselves. Do we like Sonoma Coast Chardonnays? Do we like Russian River Chardonnays, Green Valley Chardonnays? So it's fun to really fall in love with one of our micro regions in the county and then explore the different wine brands from it. So as we move along, we know region's important. Talk a little bit about vineyard designates. Oh yeah, so even within the, you've got the county and then you've got your AVAs, but even within the AVA you have a vineyard and there are nerdy people like us who tend to fall in love with very specific like, vineyards. Like the home ranch, for example, from San Giacomo. Yeah, so San Giacomo's home ranch is there in their Carneros. Their family lives on it, has been there for five generations. Yes. So again, just like a winery, a vineyard has a long story, a long history, a family behind it, somebody who's farming that land. Yeah, and what I think is so great about vineyard designating wines, it really highlights the partnership between the wineries, our winemakers, and our grape growers, because it's really a joint decision to label a wine with a vineyard designation. So if the winery doesn't actually own that vineyard and they're buying grapes, which about 60% of our grape growers here in the county just grow grapes. So they sell their grapes to a number of different wineries. So they work with that winery partner to determine if that wine is maybe in their world worthy enough of getting their vineyard name and uh, getting their grapes. Right. So and then finally, and this is really to the heart of what is different in Sonoma County that you might not find in other regional wine labels and it's our sustainability label. 
Right, so with the 2017 vintage, we launched a sustainability label. It is now carrying on over 1 million cases of it's wine, true. so 12 million bottles of Sonoma County wine will bear this label. Sometimes on the back of the label, sometimes it's on the front, as you can see here on the Dutton Estate label, has, actually has it on the front. And it just says sustainably grown wine grapes, um, Sonoma County. So you know that those wine grapes in the bottle have been certified by a third party as sustainable. And it's just really fun. It, you know, you can really see it there on the bottle. However, as of 2019, 99% of the vineyards in Sonoma County are certified sustainable. So if you're picking up a bottle of Sonoma County wine, you can be pretty sure that they're grown from sustainable grapes. Yeah, so this is just another way our wineries can tell their sustainability story, connect with wine lovers like you out there. And when you see that seal, or as Amy said, see Sonoma County on the label, you can know that the grapes inside that bottle were grown sustainably. So that's it, I think, for wine labels. Thanks for uh, debunking that for us and sharing a little bit of facts on that. And uh, now I think all you have left to do is to go out and find your favorite bottle of Sonoma County wine. Thank you.